Yeah, hi, I'm Dr. Rad. I've been practicing for over two decades, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about can a disc herniation cause sciatica? So a disc herniation can absolutely cause sciatica, but let's first talk about what a disc injury is. So what we have here is we have a normal vertebrae from the lumbar spine as if I'm pulling it out of me right here. And each vertebrae sits on a disc. It's like a, a ball bearing, if you will. So it kind of moves and allows you to kind of have some movement. And it's also a shock absorbing cushion. The way a disc actually gets its, its nutrients is that it gets squished all the time. And think of a sponge, and you have a sponge and it pushes down, and you can, the water comes out and you let your hand off and the water comes in. And that's how a, a disc actually breathes and gets its nutrition. So it's important to have movement for any kind of disc to have the healing as well. But a disc is like a jelly donut. As we can see here, there's 18 rings of cartilage that hold in this viscous-like material, meaning it's like molasses in January, very thick. And so what happens is, is we can get some tearing through some of these rings here. And some of these rings will start tearing through and it'll start pushing out on these outer rings. And that's a bulging disc. And when we have a herniated disc, well, that's the third one here, and that's where that's actually coming out right there like that. You see that kind of in real motion here, we have a, a vertebrae, and we have a herniated disc. So if the disc kind of goes out, and then it kind of pushes out like that. And so that's a herniated disc. That sets up the problem of the nerve. What sciatica is when you have a herniated disc causing it, it's pinching of that nerve. That nerve comes out, and then ends up going down the entire back, back of your leg, down into your foot. And depending on which nerve you hit along the lumbar spine, depends on where that pain might be felt and go. So sciatic is pain down the back of the leg. So that's typically in the lower lumbar spine. You're talking L4, L5, or L5S1, the, very, the, the last two vertebrae in there. If you look at this scale that we have here, it kind of shows you that in the sense. You can have normal, what we have right here, to the bulging out, to it starting to bulge out even more, to now you've got this extrusion of the disc. It's coming out beyond the margins of it, where it can get, get a lot worse, where they call it different types of extrusion and a sequestration where some of it can break off. So varying different grades of it, but basically that's what happens. So the treatment option for sciatic is basically you need to get the pressure off the nerve right? And there's multiple ways that you can do this. The first thing that happens, you get a lot of pain, swelling, and inflammation because the nerve is irritated. This material that comes out is very caustic to the nerve, plus you can get irritation of the structures in and around it. So we want to control swelling and inflammation. The best modality we have that is class 4 laser. It decreases pain and inflammation and also sets up the disc for healing response. It actually stimulates the fibroblasts in the body to help start repairing that disc. The next option we have is spinal decompression. Spinal decompression is where we're actually tractioning that so the bulging disc will get sucked back in. Okay, we want to get that pressure off the nerve. As well, we use physical therapy to start doing extension exercises for the most part, but it just depends on the patient's pain. But we want to get mechanical movement to help suck that disc back in as well. We don't want it bulging out, we want to get it back. So now that the cartilage can heal around it and hold it back. My name is Dr. Ren and thanks for joining me on what disc injury is and how it causes sciatica.